15 years ago, I was an absolute broken shell of a person. I was controlled by demonic influences, fear, anger plagued me. There were times when I wanted to end my life. You know, I had this basic fear of going to hell, um, even though I was living in hell. And, uh, you know, I, I, I had uh, gotten to the place in my life where I'd become a drug addict, drug dealer. I'd actually got sick and tired of being sick and tired, so I actually came to the Gold Coast just to escape. I was gonna lay low for a while, let, let the, the heat cool off, because I had uh, people after me that wanted to kill me, and, wanted to get money from me. I owed people money and all sorts of things and you know, it was just a doggy dog world. And I, I tried to escape to the Gold Coast thinking I'll just lay low for a while. Having been on the Gold Coast, I thought, oh, you know, I really wanted to get some wholesome living back in. Uh, that, that life, that underworld life, I was really sick and tired of being sick and tired. I went on a search for God. I went uh, to every other uh, different religion and philosophy. I chased after Eastern philosophy and uh, you know, cause I'd been a martial artist. You know, none of these things did it for me um, until finally a friend of mine actually invited me to church. I hadn't, you know, found God in church, but I thought, well, what can church do to me? I'll go along to church and I'll check it out. I was, I was that hungry, I thought I'll, I'll find out. Something happened to me in that building, you know. Uh, I actually felt something real. And, uh, and, and I remember standing in the church and feeling just this warmth. And I just went, wow, what is that? I've never felt that before. And I, I, I nudged the guy beside me and I said, did you feel that? And he's like, feel what? And I said, I just, and I described the feeling to him, the goosebumps and the this and that, you know, the feeling, the love come down. And he goes, oh, that's the Holy Spirit. And I went, I've got to get more of this Holy Spirit. And the service finished and the guy said, you know, if, if you'd like to give your life to Jesus and uh, you'd like all your sins forgiven, then uh, come forward. My heart's going yes, my head's going no, there's this big battle going on. And anyway, before I knew it, before my head could talk me out of it, my heart had dragged me up on the altar and I was on my knees and I was crying like a baby. You know, the best way I could describe it with that feeling up at the altar when I'd surrendered my life to Jesus was I felt like I'd come home and I felt safe and I felt secure and I felt like this is what I've been searching for all my life. So, you know, when I became a Christian and I experienced this this tangible, life-changing presence, I was like, wow, well, I've got to share this with everybody. I didn't know anything from anything. I, I've been a Christian for about five minutes, uh, but one thing I did know is that like, when you played the church music, the stuff came. And so I put two and two together, and I bought a CD, one of the church CDs, and, uh, and I, I, I stuck it in my little CD player, and, and, and I'd invite these people around, and I'd say, just shut your eyes and hold out your hands, and I'd push play on the CD player. God started to come and he'd start to touch me. And, and after a while, it opened my eyes and, and really to my amazement, you know, I believed it, but I didn't believe it. To my amazement, I looked around and other people were getting touched with the same stuff that I got touched with. And I'd see these hardened guys, tattoos all over them, tears running down their face. And we were having mini revival. Like at one stage, I had 30 people in my lounge room and you know, I'd wake up in the morning and half my stuff was gone, but I didn't care. You know, it was just amazing. We're having a great time. But what I realized is that, you know, people were going back to their old drug environments, they're going back to the streets, even to the brothels. And, and so we had to start a program to really um, help them to, to, to really understand who God was and, and to really change their life. And so we started this program called Transformations. We had a 10 year anniversary. We started it in 1999. We, we contacted all of our alumni. Um, we contacted graduates and that, and we found that we'd had a 75% success rate of those who had finished the program. And, uh, and now we've, we've got this model in, in a bunch of different locations, um, Harvey Bay, Brisbane, Bendigo, Victoria, uh, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, um, and Palm Beach as well. I just sit back in amazement now, like I'm, I'm like, God, it's amazing that you would use someone like me. If God can use someone like me and can turn my hard heart around and, and take this useless shell of a human being and use me, then God can definitely use you.